Hey guys, welcome back T2's Barbecue YouTube channel. It's been a while. Um, the whole COVID thing has made a mess of of things, and I've had a lot of internet issues. But we kicked AT&T to the curb, and we're we've gone with another provider, and seems to be running well. So maybe we can get the fun back in these videos. Anyway, welcome back. We look forward to spending a little time with you. Today we're going to do T2's Hot Chick on a Stick. It's chicken wings that we're going to put a, a heavy seasoning on and then they go onto a skewer and we're going to cook them on the smoker, on the pit boss. So, um, just hang out with us a little bit and we'll get it started. This is going to be a, a two-parter uh, because you want your chicken wings to marinate for a bit. Um, I recommend at least four hours overnight if possible. And we've got some bad weather coming. Uh, so I'm hoping to get to shoot some video outside while we're cooking them. May not be able to swing that because I don't want to take all this camera equipment out into the rain. But we um, let's get to seasoning. <clears throat> this is a Cajun style wing, so we're gonna we're gonna start with good old Tony's. And let me give a quick shout out to. Bagley Farms Meat Market, Edwardsville, Illinois. Look at look at the size of these these wings. These are awesome. Awesome, awesome wings. So anyway, let's we're gonna start out. We're gonna throw some Tony's in there. I have to warn you, there is a sneeze coming. Uh, always is with Tony's. <clears throat> but choose your your favorite barbecue rub, whatever it is. Throw down some Tony's. Hit it with your rub. <clears throat> then we're just gonna kind of toss them, turn them around a little bit. And then lather, rinse, and repeat. the size of that man oh man it almost looked like a leg all right let's get in here I'm just gonna give it a little bit more of a sprinkle here of Tony and then we're you can put these in a Ziploc bag or just cover this up and put them in the refrigerator let them sit and do their thing and we'll bring you back here in a little bit and show you how we put them on the skewers see you then all right guys welcome back we have <clears throat> we've had a few hours to marinate our our chicken let it sit i went ahead and started putting some on the skewers um but i just so i could get ahead of the game but basically all we're doing I, I get for my chicken I use a, a heavier skewer it's slightly bigger around uh, ordered them from Amazon and uh, I put four pieces on a stick and you just kind of come in you can fit on these you can feel the bones 
and I try to pass between the two bones and like I say I put four on and yes you want them to touch so we uh, I know you're saying but well, you're not gonna get heat all the way around Just stick with me and worry about everything it, it works out very well so we can run through them pretty quickly and that pretty much takes care of our flappers let me slip these to the side a little bit and here's our drumming and again look at the size of this Oop. Bagley Farms Meat Market Edwardsville Illinois it's uh it's about a hour and ten minute drive for us but it's worth it when you put them on put your your drummies on you want to alternate them and get everybody on the stick I like using the heavier duty skewers with the chicken because chicken weighs more. Well, uh, we're going to be putting up another video with shrimp and in it I'll be using a smaller diameter skewer. But Isn't that pretty? And as usual, wind up with one odd ball skewer, odd number. So I've got two flappers and two drummy left over. So they're all going on the same skewer. <clears throat> so from here, what we're going to do is we're going to take a little Tony's and we're going to give them give them a little sprinkle and just a little bit of extra love there Then I'm going to take each one, turn it over, And then we're going to come out with the, the barbecue rub that we used and give them just a little light shake of that. And these, these wings, they're they're a lot of work, that's for sure, but they are absolutely 100% worth it. So, what we're going to do from here is going to make you guys draw drop, or jaw drop again, uh, because from here, I'm going to put them in the oven. I know. I know you're thinking what stick with me we're gonna <clears throat> put them in the oven and we're gonna cook them to 165 degrees internal using our temp probe 
and pull them out. We're going to cool them. And actually, once they get to room temp, we're going to put them in the refrigerator for about an hour and chill them. And from there, then they'll go out to the pit. And we're going to add smoke and baste while they're on the pit. Another thing to keep in mind is your flappers are going to cook faster than your drummies. So just be prepared. But I'm going to put them in a 350 degree oven and in 40 minutes I'll start checking temps and after after about 25 to 30 minutes I'll rotate because I'll have one pan on the top one pan on the bottom of the oven I'll rotate them give them another 10 maybe 15 minutes and start temping them and see where they're at so when these guys come out of the oven we'll see you back Alright guys, welcome back. We managed to brave the wind and a uh, passing shower or sprinkle and got it done. Here's our wings. We did 10 pounds today. I forgot to mention that to you guys. We have a, we had a request for wings so we, uh, we did 10 pounds today and this uh, basically when they go back on the on the the cooker you want to start out low temp let them suck up some smoke and then uh, and then move them direct heat get a little bit of color on them and I I turn and baste every three to five minutes so there you are uh, this hot chick on a stick it's awesome awesome give it a try and again another big shout out to Bagley Farms meat market in Edwardsville Illinois these are the these are the prettiest wings I have been able to find anywhere. Big, plump, juicy. They are just incredible. So, thanks again, Bagley Farms. And thank you guys for tuning in, spending some time with us. We look forward to spending more time with you. Uh, we hope we believe we've got our internet connection straightened out uh, so look forward to shooting more videos and getting back in the swing of things but we will see you guys again soon thank you that's right thank you D remember like share and subscribe take care guys